Hi, betting experts. On Wednesday, October the 2nd, we're off up to Scotland to Musselburgh on Wednesday. Good ground expected. They seem to have swerved the worst of the weather so far. Hopefully it stays that way. We start off with our betting expert daily nap. Goes in the opener at 1.45. It's the visitracingtv.com nursery. Seven furlongs and 15 yards. A class five, obviously for two-year-olds only. £4,187 to the winner. And I think Fear Ass is by far the most interesting runner for Archie Watson. Now, Archie wouldn't be the most regular visitor up to Scotland. He's had two winners in the last 14 days. Firas has probably been a disappointing horse for them. Has run four times so far, only attracted money once and let them down at Chepstow. Over six furlongs when only finishing third behind Ran Amok. But watch that run back. There's no doubt that Firas got involved in a duel on the lead there, racing very freely against the near side rail and fading inside the final furling. He showed lots of ability, it just needs to be channeled correctly. Um, last time to Haydock, he was returning from a bit of a break and I thought he shaped really nicely. He again fluffed the start and raced with the choke out, hitting the front after halfway and not quite getting home on soft ground. Now he is up to seven furlongs here, um, which I think will suit him provided he's settled. He's been ridden by Holly Doyle and she's not been able to hold him basically. Mulrennan's book this afternoon, an opening mark of 72 too well you'd be pretty disappointed if he couldn't win that he's actually been dropped a pound from when he started at Haydock into handicaps but there's loads more to come from him I think this sharp track on better grounds exactly what he needs and perhaps Mole Renan will get him to drop the bit for the first time I'd be very surprised if he wasn't a lot better than 72 when things do fall right our betting expert value angle selection goes in the 220 it's the watch on racing tv handicap again seven furlongs and 15 yards a class six this time three-year-olds and upwards 3600 pounds to the winner and i think that grant chewer's gunner side can strike here now this seven-year-old is hardly in the first flush of youth but he comes from a yard going really well at the minute grant chewer two winners from his last 12 run he's a very shrewd operator grant particularly when the cash is down gunner side well he started um Less than nine to one, I think twice this season. He was back down to 11 to four at Chepstow in June and he won quite readily under Harrison Shaw, coming from last to first to win in style over five furlongs. He does stay this seven furlong trip perfectly well. He was quite eye catching over course and distance on the 15th of September when relatively easy to back. He ended up being parked out widest of all throughout, which wasn't ideal under Ollie Stammers. I suspect he'll get a much more um, sensible ride on this occasion, uh, perhaps not so wide. This bigger field should help him settle. He's handicapped to win from a mark of just 53, and the decent ground suits him ideally. He's one of those horses he'll need the gaps, but I'm pretty sure he'll go close if he gets them. Best of luck on Wednesday, betting experts, and please do remember to like and do comment on all of our YouTube videos.